This is already the third video in the Aruba Incident series. I hope you like them so far. If so, please leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them under the videos. In the last video, we have been investigating how you can manage an Aruba Incident environment via the mobile application. But what about if you need a larger screen or you want to use a dashboard to show the health of your small business infrastructure? That's why in this video, we're going to show you how you can manage your Aruba Incident network via the web portal. You can reach the web portal via the portal.arubainsenon.com. And just a quick remark, the web portal has exactly the same features as the mobile application. So let's dive in. So here we go. We are now at the portal.arubainsenon.com. The first thing we need to do is to log in to the portal. We have been creating an account in the first video and you have been using that account also in the second video with the mobile application. So we are going to use the same account. So let's dive in. As you can see, we are connected to the ABCN Instant On site as we have been creating in the first video. Here you can find information about your user. In my case, it's me, dobias.vanningen at gmail.com. I can do account management here where I can change my password or I can set and change the notifications. I have all alert categories turned on and enabled, so I will receive a notification when problems accessing the internet are detected, caused and categorized in connection problem. And I also will get a notification when there is a device problem. But let's move back to the homepage here. And if you want to have any help, you can get help, you can get immediately support, and you can go to about, and that's where you can see that the instant on web application version I'm using is 1.3.0. So if you are using another version, an older or a newer version, maybe in the future, then you maybe will see some changes. Let's first dive into how our site look like. So we're going to do some site management. If we want, we can change the name of the site here. We can add multiple accounts. So if we have a network administrator group with, with maybe one or two or three persons, you can maybe add an additional account here. You can also delete this site, but we're not going to do that. We can set the time zone for a specific site. In my case, it is a CET time zone in Amsterdam, and that's today's date. If you want to configure a guest portal, I found the web portal very convenient because you have just a little bit more space than on the mobile application. And it's very easy to quickly see the changes you are making, how it will look like on a mobile app and how it will look like on, on, uh, on a bigger screen. But more that in, the, in another video. Here you, where you can configure your software updates. I explained this in the mobile application, but this is the location where you can, uh, where you can configure this. So now let's get back to the incident side and if we want to add new devices. Here's the place where you can add new devices to this particular site. In my case, I only have one access point running, as you all know, but you can then search for a device, you can how to extend my network. And you can set up a new site if you want to. You're going to this six steps, and then after the sixth step, you have set up a new site. So let's cancel this setup. And what about if you want to see the status, right? If you want to see the status of my site, you can see that everything is okay on the ABCN instant on site, but let's click on this. You can see, hey, everything is okay. The latest alert created was October 29, and I can see the show history of this. You can see there was a certain access point was going on offline, and if you click on it, the instant on device was powered down or had connectivity issues, but it has been cleared in October 29, 2019. So this way, and that was eight, eight days ago. So this way you have a very nice overview in what you see. If you want to change a little bit some of the things you see, you maybe want to have less or more details, this is where you can change them. Okay, let's close this and go back to the site health. You can see that all my devices are online and the latest restart I did was three days ago. So I can go to show my inventory I can immediately see my access point. I see with the green dot, hey, it is active. I have one client connected to my five gigahertz radio and there is zero clients connected to the 2.4 gigahertz radio. What about if I wanna see more or less details here? Again, you can click here. You can show the IP address, for example, and this is where it will add details or you remove details. 
very convenient. Then you can click on this and you can see the properties. You can immediately see that this is an AP11D with software version 1.3.0. You can also see the uh, local, con local network IP and you can see that I'm using the E0 slash PT port with a one gigabit uplink. So you can see some traffic has been going up there. You can see the clients on channel 52, uh, the business is zero percent and uh, 2.4 radio is zero clients connected. It's operating on channel seven and is busy at 4%. Again, you can click here and you can see there's no issues detected and you got, you can immediately restart the access points or you can remove it from the inventory. But to remove that, if you want to add a device, you can also do it here and by extending your network. So you don't need to search for all this functionality. You can see it in the most logical places. So let's move back. And now we are back to the homepage portal. What I want to show you now is if I click on network, I immediately see my ABCN instant on network we have been creating in the first video. And if you want to see it, we can see this employee network. You can see that the status is active. It is a network passcode or PSK, one client connected, and in total, 1.74 uh, gigabits transferred. If I want to make it inactive, I can click this one. I can change the name. I can change some setting. If I want to do more complex authentication and using a radius server, I can click here and then start, start configuring the radius settings. But we are not going to do that. So I'm going to cancel this. I'm going now to options and in options you can show the network. That's another, another way if, if, if you go to your uh, network settings on your laptop or maybe on your phone, you can see the ABCN install name in there. If you don't want to have that, you can disable it here. You can configure the bandwidth users. Now I have no limit for internet users per client, but if you want to control that, you can, uh, you can use these settings. IP and VLAN, I can assign in VLAN if you have a little bit of more complex networking infrastructure. It can be also uh, specific to this network if you want to do some netting uh, on this infrastructure. Scheduling, uh, there is no scheduling. Everybody can always access my particular network, but if I want to enable setting or scheduling, I can do that here. And then I can say, okay, maybe from Monday to Friday, all day or active between a certain amount of time. But I'm not going to do that, so let's move that back. Statistics, you can see there's one client connected and you can see the different applications and the amount of bandwidth they have been using. Uh, and you can see that there's a total of 1.73 gigabit data transferred in the last 24 hours. And this is the categories of the data that has been seen. So in one view, immediately you can see what kind of data is being operating on your networking infrastructure. Okay. Let's move back to the home portal and let's look at the client. It's Dobia's MacBook Pro connected to this particular network. Signal is okay. You can see downloading, can transfer it, and you can see that the top application category is utilities. And I can immediately block it here. If I do this, I immediately block a client of the networking infrastructure. And if I want to then see which are my block clients, I can connect here and look a few at the block clients. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to move back. Again, here you can show a little bit if you want to sh show less or more details. But let's look at the details of my client. You can see the IP address. You can see it is connected. A day ago, it has a good signal quality. You can see what it is downloading. And again, you can see here of the specific clients and how much application and how much data each category have been using. Very convenient. You know exactly what's going on in your infrastructure. So let's close this off. So now let's have a little bit of a deeper dive inside the applications. And here you can see a total overview of the last 24 hours. And you can see total usage or the total uh, percentage of usage. And you can see the utilities here where I can click on, I can open it up. It gives you a, a very convenient description and how it recognizes and what kind of applications belong to this kind of category. And here you can see the most websites and applications being visited on which particular network in the last 24 hours. So if I do this, for example, for productivity, you can see that Microsoft Office, uh, Microsoft Outlook, in other words, my Office 365 is being used a lot. And I can, 
either enable or disable the application usage here. Again, if you want to play around with the settings here, you can show less or more. Let's close this off. Let's look at the inventory. And the inventory is where we can see the devices again and we can see the details. But we already looked at that when we were looking at our network, click the devices. So that's in a very brief overview, the dashboard. The reason why I went a little bit quicker is because a lot of the, a lot of the functions are the same uh, as in a mobile application. It is only a little bit more convenient because you can start using a larger screen and if you want to show, for example, your site on the dashboard, this is how you can do it and you always know what's going on. You can immediately see if there is alerts, if there's devices online and offline, how the current transfer speed of your networking infrastructure is. Even though a solution for small medium businesses it gives you a lot of insight on clients, on the application usage, on how the network is using, and it also gives you very clear text and very well understandable alerts in what's going on in your infrastructure. In the next video, we are going to create a guest network. Hope you liked it. Thank you very much and up to the next video.